hi everybody if x satisfies this sum of equations which is under root of x plus under root of x quantity minus under root of x minus under root x quantity is equals to two times of under root x by x plus under root x quantity then we have to find all possible values for x so please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution Now here is our system of equations and to make it pretty much convenient we need to assign some variables. So let x plus under root x is equal to a and similarly x minus under root x is equal to b and finally let 2 is equal to c. So by observation we have x plus under root x minus x minus under root x quantity is equal to 2 under root x. And we know that x plus under root x is a and x minus under root x is b. So we have a minus b is equals to 2 under root x. So by this we have x is equals to a minus b quantity by 2. So now putting the values in our system of equations. So we have this. Now we can write this also in this form. And now we can write a minus b as under root a square minus under root b square like this and now using a square minus b square formula so we have this now dividing both sides by under root a minus under root b so we have this now we can write this also in this form now subtracting both sides by negative of 1 so we have this now multiplying numerator and denominator by b on RHS side and then squaring both sides so we have this now using a minus b whole square formula so we have this final term now putting the values of b and a so we have this we can write this also in this form and then cross multiplying so we have this and now opening the parentheses so we have this now cancelling c square x square on both sides so we have this and also take 2x as common so we have this and then dividing both side by 2x so we have this now let alpha square is equals to x so we have this now we make it in the form of quadratic polynomial so we have this which is 0 is equals to alpha square times 1 minus 2c quantity plus c square alpha plus c square negative c square plus 2c minus 1 like this so we use quadratic formula so we have alpha is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a now what we do is just put the values so we have this now here is our system of equations and we consider c is equals to 2 and this is our value of alpha now putting the value of c is equals to 2 so we have this now simplifying them so we have this so our final value is alpha is equals to negative 4 plus or minus 2 divided by 2 times of negative 3 now here is our final value of alpha and we know that x is equals to alpha square now in first case alpha is equals to negative 4 plus 2 divided by 2 times of negative 3 so we have alpha is equals to 1 by 3 so x is equals to alpha square which is equals to 1 by 9 and in second case we have alpha is equals to negative 4 negative 2 by 2 times ne negative of 3 so we have alpha is equals to 1 so x is equals to alpha square which is equals to 1 now we have two values of x one is 1 and then another is 1 by 9 so which value of x is correct so looking in this part in this part put x is equals to 1 by 9 so we have this now taking the common LCM so we have this so we have under root of negative 2 by 9 and this is in the form of complex number so we have under root 2 i by 3 and simplifying them is not possible so considering x is equals to 1 by 9 
is completely invalid. This makes our whole system of equations completely wrong. So the, our final answer is x is equals to 1 is the only real solution for the system of equations and that is our correct answer. And I hope you enjoyed this quick algebra problem.